God dang. Operation. And the wig is on too? If I can do this, I can do anything. I love that. Oh, it's just out here. Are you doing? Really? This low sodium 1314. Oh my, yeah, wild on This was a huge deal. You had some folding of skin. There we go. I'm not okay. No more dreams. Like, and nobody has to tell me to get up. Okay, yo, good morning. It is officially two weeks after I had my surgery. This is out. Not out, I was out. It's not outstanding. Well, it's outstanding. It's also insane because part of the whole thing for me was I want to get this done over with, done over with, done over with. I just wanted to get it done over with and I wanted to get the healing over with. I mainly wanted to get the two weeks over with because I knew that that was the time that I could be back to normal. But if you've been following along already, you know that I was back to normal a lot sooner. So praise Jehovah for all of that, right? So it's just so crazy. Tomorrow is my follow up, my second follow up where I. I think for sure, and I hope, I'm gonna ask her to take the drains out because that'll just change my life again. I'm sick and tired of these drains. The color is getting lighter, it's getting less. Like, I just need them out because then I can shower it more easily. I'm sick and tired of putting them drains on my head to shower, like literally clipping it to my hair, my hair, head tie, like, come on, you know? Because you, like, the drains can't be hanging down on the floor while you're showering, what? They're gonna come out. And I just cannot wait. And that's another step in the healing. So two weeks, I feel like tomorrow she'll take it out. And then I really feel like, I'm, not I feel like, and then I'm going to be showering each day. I'm not okay. I haven't even washed my hair. Like I'm, I'm not okay with what I'm doing right now. And I get it. I just had major surgery, whatever. I'm just not okay with it. Okay. I like showering every day, most times twice a day. And this every other day thing is just not vibing well with me in my soul. I don't smell. I do my odor odor you know my whole odor routine with the wipes and the armpits and you know I, I take care of myself i'm at starbucks hang on the stairs. i think if she's like a starbucks my name is holly what can i get started for you today hi good morning i'd like a what do i want oh bless god i'd like a grande hot latte please grande hot latte of course anything else for today no but let's 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 run that one down i'd like whole milk please with two pumps of sugar-free vanilla and three what do I like? What do I like? Splenda. Yeah, that. Okay, a grande hot latte made with whole milk and two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. Anything else? No, that's it. Thank you. Okay, it's going to be five ninety. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Now I'm not wanting to know my specifics. And I normally order on the phone, but I didn't do that right now. And, like, here I am. So, yeah, so, like, I'm just not into this whole two-week. I'm not, oh, excuse me, the whole, like, every other day. Like, I can't do it. I haven't washed my hair. I don't like how my hair's looking. Like, I have product in it from the last time that I put that, that, that uh, not got to be, the uh, edge control situation. I haven't been doing my hair. I literally just get up and just go like this because I'm just going to therapy to get my massage. And I have this project due today. My God, today I was, not my year wild on Casa. Let me pull up my app. Not my year wild on Casa because not I didn't know it was messing up. I thought I lost my Final Cut Pro library, ding, ding, like whatever it was, <clears throat> it wasn't working. And this thing, I had already filmed it before the surgery, okay? And I was going to edit it whenever I got around to it. Well, I got around to it two days ago. I started editing it, and I started giving me problems. I had already made some progress. Hi. Oh, okay. Oh, this is not working. Oh, here it is. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. so pretty. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> This is my look pretty? Wow. <laughs> that was sweet. <laughs> the thing was not working. My library was not working. And oh, and I'm like, yo, wow. My son, yeah, shit. I woke up early this morning. I had Googled it. I couldn't figure it out yesterday. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go to bed because I had to prioritize. Do I want to stay up all night trying to fix this? Or do I want to go to bed and then get up early trying to fix this? I, went, I decided to go to bed. But I still went to bed kind of late. Like, nine is late for me when I want to get up at four or five. Anyway, I got up at... I, my alarm went off. I was up kind of and I was laying down. Next thing you know, honey, it was like 5.56. So I got up out of the bed at that time. And I, anyway, so I went to do to the computer and I Googled and uh, YouTube and I saw a, a solution. <coughs> I have a cold. Thank God. I've healed better because <coughs> I can cough without feeling like I'm going to fall apart. So if I needed, when I needed to cough two weeks ago, Jay. Get mails. I would just leave that cough there. I mean, I had phlegm in my throat. It felt like I couldn't get anything out. I was like, no, I'm gonna leave it there. 
but now I can actually cough well. I do feel the tightness. I do feel like my abs are freaking tight <clears throat> and I can cough fine. I mean, I'm not like gah, gah, coughing, but <laughs> like give myself a breath in between the coughing. You know, now you're wondering why are you coughing? Well, I have a cold. <laughs> it's not a terrible one, but I got a cold, okay? So I am taking my alka seltzer. Honey, I'm sick and tired of this alka seltzer. So I do have that going on, and yeah, so I'm on my way to my massage therapy appointment. And after tomorrow, I don't have one scheduled actually, because I'm gonna confirm with them that my drains are out, and when they're out, that I'll go from every day to three times a week, which I'm cool with. I mean, at this point, now that life is back to normal, going each day will be an inconvenience to me. But when everything was at a standstill, going each day was the only thing that I was doing. Now, I don't have time to do, do every day. So actually, this is actually good because I'm back to work. Like, it's not even funny. <laughs> I don't have time for this. And uh, I actually have therapy today, my talk therapy today. You know, my therapy that I've been in. That's today too. And I need to edit two campaigns, two different campaigns. And it takes hours for me. It takes hours. It does. I'll think, oh, this is not going to be, no. I'm like two and a half hours later. Oh yeah, wow. Cause I, there's just a lot to, of things to do. It's just a lot of pieces. You feel me? So <clears throat> that's what's gonna happen today. I have today as a day on my calendar as a film day, but I just deleted because I actually need to get this content ready and submitted and all that. And yeah, we are back at it. Nini's back to school today. And <laughs> what is this? Oh, yeah. So. Anyway, I felt so stressed this morning. Oh my God. I was thinking to myself all kind of scenarios. I was like, am I going to have to start all over again? Because this, and, and I just thank God I have two different devices. I have my iMac and I have my MacBook, MacBook Air. Because if my iMac is acting up, slowing down, doing something that I cannot tolerate, I can go to my, I, my MacBook Air. But then I'm like, I already started in a library on my iMac. So yesterday I was like, am I going to have to start all over again? Granted, I didn't get too far, but still, like still, that too far was like an hour and a half job. So I'm like, am I gonna have to start all over again, sifting through this stuff to get the clips that I want? And that's why I was dedicated to trying to fix that library issue that I was having. Thank God I fixed it. Cause then I was able to continue versus starting all over again. Cause if I had to start all over again, I would have done that on my MacBook Air. But just imagine, imagine the terror, the horror, the stress, it's just too much. So yeah, I got my coffee and I'm in traffic. And I thank God I left home early because what? My two week update body, my, my tummy is real flat. The top and the bottom are like, it's weird. It is, so, when I showered yesterday, I literally cannot believe looking down at my body looks this way. Because I'm always used to looking down at my body and seeing a big old stomach. I'm not used to being able to look at my body and see my mons. Just the, like, it just doesn't work. You feel what I'm saying? Mons, Google it. And I'm not used to looking down at my body and not having my breast hang on my stomach. You feel me? So I'm just, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm in a daze. Honest to God. I'm so grateful and I'm just shocked. I'm just, I'm shocked. My tapes are lifting a bit. You know, she might replace it with something thinner. I don't know. We'll see tomorrow's, at tomorrow's appointment. And... But yeah, I'll show you the body, obviously, and I'm just, I'm still in shock. I'm still in awe. I would do it again if I had to. Obviously, I don't want to, clearly. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I'm about to have therapy, and I figure out why not multitask, because I'm in the middle of editing something that's due today. I'm making great headway, but I just need to break it up and do something different. This wig needs to be styled, so I just plugged in my T3. There we go. <laughs> And I'm gonna curl my hair while I talk to my therapist. This is the wig that was crimped that I'm just going to curl instead now. I've already brushed it out, brushed out the hair. I'm just gonna curl it. Let me put it down when I hit the town. You should lie on me, keep your minds on me. On try, baby, I think you should side with me. Stay solid one time if you lie with me. Just promise you never lie to me. Keep the moves on tuck. I know it's all up. Everything good, keep the vibes on crush. I know it's all good. Know it's all love. Know it's all love. What up in good morning? I'm 
just parked to do my two week post op appointment. I just can't wait. I gotta say, the garment I have on right now is the tighter the tighter ones. This is the XL. When I left the surgery table, I was in double XL. And this is mad tight. I've gotten used to it, but it's mad tight. Something about it is making me hunch over. I don't know what happened. I'm at two weeks and for some reason I'm still hunching a little when I have the garment on. It must be because it's so stinking tight. It's, it's insane. But I'm excited for this appointment. I want to get this because the, there, are, there are scabs forming on the sites where the drains are. And when it moves a certain way, it it hurts. Not like I'm in gonna scream and cry hurt, but it I just feel it. It's annoying. So I just want the drain out so that the scabs can form and I can just be Gucci. You feel me? So looking forward to that for sure. I don't know if I can get my camera inside or not. We'll see. If not, I'll just give you an update once everything is done. I'm back from my doctor appointment. So many things. So many things to just know and do. I can't lie. I was feeling overwhelmed. In a nutshell, she thinks I look phenomenal. And I agree. <laughs> Even the nurse was like, Ooh, I look phenomenal and everyone agrees. So I am so happy, right? I did have to wait an hour, which annoyed me. I was like, excuse me, what is happening? I had to go back and check in like, does she know that I'm here? What's going on? All the rooms have been full, whatever. It was a busy day and I'm like annoyed because in my head I'm like, should I just cancel a freaking appointment? But I wanted to stay there because I, not only, I, it's part of the whole protocol we were supposed to meet at that time. This is the two week mark, but I really was eager to get the drains out. Okay, so I waited and waited. I was reading, I was whatever. And then finally my name got called. They apologized for the wait, all this. And then I learned that it was just a busy time. And also if I wanted to be seen first or not have delays, then I can go at that nine o'clock time slot instead of a 10 o'clock time slot, whatever. So I had the appointment. I had no idea that I was gonna, I was gonna get undressed. I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna just come in. They're gonna ask me questions and then pull the drains out and I'm gonna leave. I don't know, but I got undressed and wore that. I keep wanting to call it a gurney. A gurney is a bed, right? What is it called? The hospital gown. Let's just call it that, right? So I put on the hospital gown and I'm like, okay. So when she comes in and she's talking, asking me questions, and I'm telling her how love, like how how much I love my results and whatever, and she was even like you look amazing i told you you would look good and i'm like i know you sure did and i look freaking amazing so we agreed on that and i popped a nail today i'm taking these off and so she she started to take off the tape and i was like oh it's coming off today you're gonna replace it because i've been seeing online that in some cases or whatever they would put a thinner tape and she's like no you just take it off so she took off all my tape and it didn't hurt me at all and she cleaned it with peroxide, but I'm not to do that again. That was just a one-time thing. Then she was asking questions about the drain, took the drain out, could barely feel it because that area is still a little numb, but I was watching it come out. It was just so interesting. I was like, okay. So she took the drains out and you can see flesh, a little bit of flesh. I'm not, I don't, I don't get like oozy about that stuff. I was looking at it and she's explaining how to keep a gauze over that area. I can see my flesh white. It looks just as white. It's a, it's a small hole, but I'm not oozy woozy about that kind of stuff. I do have some folding of skin. She said where I had extra skin. So near the incision, I'll show you, but not right now because I've already been wrapped up again. And when you, when I'm, because I'm wrapped up like this, it just feels like I want to just stay like this and not let it all loose again. I just want to stay like this. So, you know, tonight when I shower, I will I will show you. And hopefully that doesn't demonetize my video. But then you can just get an idea if it's... I won't show you the part where you can see my flesh. <laughs> but I'll show you the other side where it does a little bit of folding. So it'll smooth out, she said, as I continue to compress. So I purchased this gel product from her called Reform or Reforma. I will look at it. And that's the cream or lotion that I'm supposed to use on clean, dry skin after I shower, Obvi, for uh, just use it, use it, just use it until it finishes. And then lotion like usual everywhere else. My nipple, the areola scar looks fine to me. I was telling her, I was like, I think I look amazing. 
the scar, I don't even care about it. I love that my skin is so deep that the scar isn't such a contrast from my skin. So white nails contrast on brown skin so much that it pops and in my opinion looks amazing and looks beautiful. Hence why most brown skin girls love white nails. My scar is not a huge contrast from my skin because my skin is deep. If I were very light, if I were this color, yellow like this or pale like this, and then I had a dark scar, yeah, it stands out and it might be disturbing. My scars don't bother me. The hip, the breast, I have no issue with them whatsoever, okay? As far as the color is concerned, and it's not like it's all bubbled, it's none of that right now. Of course, to prevent it from looking horrendous, because some of it is genetics, but some of it is also the aftercare, I'm gonna use the stuff that she recommended because if I use anything else and it looks wild, then she can't say that was me. It's like, you did that. I told you to use her for me when I, we went on Amazon and got boom, boom, boom. Now, I do have that scar removal silicone, sign, 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 but she said that that's to be used when the, when the scar is healed. So at two weeks, this is still a little bit raw, I suppose. I couldn't see it, but you know, it's still a fresh scar. So she said it has to be, that's something that you use when it's completely healed. So I'm gonna still hang on to that and then use that Reform Gel Cold Lotion. I'll show you that she had me purchase. It is expensive, but like I said in other videos, this whole thing is expensive outside of what you pay. So outside of what you pay to the doctor, there are a lot of other fees on top of that, okay? The Garmin, I have two of them. They're 240 or 250. Then the massages, I bought two 10 packs, that's $8.90 a piece. And she asked if I was getting massages and she said, she said, how many massages have you had? And I said, about 11. And she was like, I can tell, you look great. I can tell that you've been doing it. I'm like, see, thank God, because the more massages, the better you look, the more your results are, because it's like, duh, right? So that is another 2,000, I like to round up, $2,000 added on, right? Then the gel today was two something, you feel me? Then I purchased more of the foam to put underneath it because it gets soiled and you can't wash the foam. So the foam, the three packs are 40 bucks a piece. I've purchased four total. So you see, it's just all these different things. So anyway, I am so grateful. I'm, I love my body. Oh my God, I cannot get over it. I was like, listen, people should be careful to use me as a case study because I'm very different. I'm built very differently. I'm strong. I am resilient. If I look back, this was like a piece of cake. Okay. But I say that with the caveat that this was painful. This was major surgery. This was a huge deal, but I tolerate pain differently. So you might look at me and be like, oh, Mima was like doing this on day five. You might be on day 20, you still walking a little bit stiff. You feel me? That's not me. You see what I'm saying? I'm on day, what are we on right now? Day 13, 14. If she saw this, she'd probably be like, stand still. I feel great. This is, I just feel great. So again, this is me and my results and my body. And I knew I would do well because I did well after the C-section. Well is relative. There was pain. There was medication, you feel me? But then I didn't take it very long and I tolerated pain well. Like when I got off from that table and I was feeling a six or seven and I was like, uh, did you give me medication? Is this, is this it? Like, is it gonna go down? And they're like, no, this is the, <laughs> and like, this is it. I'm like, this is it? Then I had already prepared my mind that I was gonna be in pain. And I just tolerated it. You just tolerate. I just tolerate. So anyway, I feel great. Yes, I still have a little bit of soreness, little, uh, some, some swelling. When I woke up today, my skin feels sore, you know, a little bit, but nothing that's going to ruin my day. You know, it does go down. The swell, the soreness, the feeling of the soreness did go away after maybe an hour or so of being awake. I don't know, you know? So... I just feel good. I'm sorry, you didn't see that I was rubbing when I was rubbing my, you know, I just, I just feel good. Like, if it ain't already obvious, like, your girl is just out here, you feel me? And, okay, okay. So this is the thing about getting the drain sticking out that I'm now terrified. No, I'm not terrified. I don't have to be dramatic. I don't be doing all that. I'm not terrified. I'm just, I'm just really cognizant because she's stressed that the output that you're outputting now, obviously, is not going to be output anymore. The tissue of the body will absorb some of it, but then the extra output, the fluid, is just going to be chilling on your body, essentially, in your body, essentially. And it might leave water pockets, fluid pockets, you feel me? And that's the seroma that I don't want. So I told her I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue my massages. She said, great, so I'm going to be doing three times a week massages. So that'll obviously keep the lymphatic system draining. 
through urination, not through the, the, the fluid, not through the tubes anymore, but that I'm not to drink more, not to drink or consume more than three bottles of water a day for the next two weeks. I was like, wait, what? Not to drink or consume more than three bottles a day of water. I was like, excuse me. So if I have a coffee, that's part of the three bottles. If I have strawberries or anything else that has water in it, a smoothie, I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? That's part of the three bottles of water per day. I was like, oh, here I am thinking, chug as much water as you can. Now, granted, even the past two weeks, I have not been the most amazing at my water input intake, but I'm alive, right? Here I am. Like, come on. Okay. But when she said that, I was like, what? She said, because then you're going to get a seroma, too much water in the body. I was like, excuse me? So there's that in addition to no salt or seasoning, she said, because that'll give me more swelling and more water retention and increase. I'm trying to think of the word, the words correctly and increase the chances of the seroma. Seroma is the water retention, the fluid retention, excuse me, the fluid, fluid retention in the body. You feel what I'm saying? And that's not what I want because then that can cause complications. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm just like, what? I'm going to drain top, but like, I mean, it's already restrictions. Like this whole thing has already been restrictions. So, and now it's more restrictions. So I'm like, God, I'm right. and I'm learning right now, I'm feeling the sensation in my nipples and areola a lot more these days as it's coming back to life and the tissues are connecting and the nerve endings are coming to life. So I keep on feeling the tingling. She's like, yeah, some people say that it hurts. I'm like, it doesn't hurt. It just feels a little bit like um cold. You know, when you feel cold and then you're, who's calling me now? Lord. Excuse me. I'm just a very busy, in-demand woman. I mean, look at me. Like, hello? Feeling the sensation in my breasts just randomly is odd because only I know that I'm feeling it and I'm just like going like this, like, what is going on? Again, it just feels like it, it's the sensation when you feel cold and then all the hairs on your arms raise, rise up and then you get the goosebumps and then you feel like your nipples are getting chilly. It's like that feeling. That's the closest that I can equate the feeling to and I just got it again. I feel it right now. And she said that that's good. It's healing and the nerves are coming and connected and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I, I saw my body without everything. And I love it. Honey, it's giving, did you get a BBL or did you not? And I'm giving, honey, this is homegrown jollof rice, spinach to, you know, contemporary, you know, watch it fed. You feel what I'm saying? This is just homegrown. You feel me? It was just a body contour and surgery that just brought it all together. You feel what I'm saying? I am feeling myself. You don't even you know you don't even need to tell me. I already know what it is, and I don't care. I don't care that it's obvious because now the, the self feeling is going to be on a hundred thousand. You feel what I'm saying? Like literally. Ah! So anyway, ah! but let me tell you, I am not looking forward to starving for the next two weeks because I'm already on keto, and I'm not going to go off keto because this is the thing. I'm trying to avoid the fluid retention or the excess fluid retention. And I already know that my body will retain fluid when I eat a high carb diet. So I thought about it, I was like, okay, should I just do non-keto, low salt, whatever, whatever for two weeks? No, because if I walk around and eat mangoes and whatever, I'm gonna retain water because all the sugar, the carbs, it don't flow my body. So it's about to be keto, low, keto, Low or no sodium, no seasoning for two weeks. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Even right now, I'm a hey, I'm hungry because I was there for a minute. You feel me? And I'm like, okay, I already had an ice matcha today with Splenda. That's part of my water for today. Okay? So I'm like, I can give myself like two bottles and a quarter for the, for the rest of the day. So I'm going to go boil some egg and then not put any seasoning on it. Can you imagine? Boil egg, no seasoning. Jesus, oh my God. And I gotta think, what else am I gonna eat? Maybe, <laughs> okay, some strawberries? I'm not, and see, and this is a good thing though, because with keto, the fat makes me full. So the yolk from the egg should help me feel full because that's fat. And I hope that that will make me full. I'm about to go make like six eggs. I don't want to about cholesterol. Right now, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not thinking about cholesterol for the next two weeks. For the next two weeks, I got to survive. You feel me? I need to be alive, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get them eggs. I got to buy some more eggs. 
I gotta buy some more eggs and then uh, the strawberries. And I think I have some blueberries and that'll be it for right now. And then later on today, if I get hungry again, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm just gonna make my life easy and just eat the same thing every single day. Jesus, Lamb of God, help me. I can do all things. I really can. If I can do this, I can do anything. I've done keto for three years, sometimes on and off, but I've maintained, I've lost weight already. Can you? Take a base another race. You know I've lost weight already. Come here, let me know. You, 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 you already see it. Because even this year, even this year, I have already lost weight. A lot of my stuff that I had literally gotten tailored like eight months ago didn't fit me two months ago. And now they don't fit me. So I actually purged my closet again yesterday. And I found a domestic uh, uh, women's shelter. Yeah, it's like domestic violence kind of a shelter. I found a women's shelter and they pick up. In fact, I even the never responded back to me. I told them I have some stuff ready for them. So a lot of some stuff has tags, some stuff are news. So it's just, they don't fit me. And don't don't forget, like, it, ooh, not, the, not the mannequin in the way. You're killing the vibe, dang. You feel me? Like, stuff is just different. You feel what I'm saying? The flow gonna be flowing differently. Yeah, my son. So it's just a different vibe around here. No more dreams. Like, check the pace and not the race. Don't be silly. Girl, you're not gonna be seeing them bulges no more. I was so tired of it. Ooh. I was so tired of those bulges. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still gonna wear the garment for, I have my notes. It's like so much to think about. But you still wear the garment and the foam for four weeks total, four to six weeks total. So yeah, like right now I can feel the tingling in my areola and all that. So anyway, I cannot wait to shower tonight. I could shower now. Should I shower now? I'm gonna get my hair messed up. I did retouch up my uh, gel, not gel, the edge control thingamajiggy. So I don't wanna get that all gooey. I want to shower at night and then when I go into bed, I know I'm nice and clean. I don't wanna shower twice in one day because I wanna be compressed. But I look for, like this was extremely tight on me days ago, whereas now it's comfortable. It still sucks shitting me, but it's comfortable. Do you understand that? That's, that's wild. So that just goes to show that I'm losing inches, you know? I'm losing inches and I'm very, very happy about it. I need to do some work, but I can't lie to you. I would much rather just go to sleep. But, oh, not me on a frame. <laughs> I need to do some work, but I, I can't lie to you. I'd much rather go to sleep, but I can't. Six o'clock. What a baby, it is day. What day are we on? Are we still doing days? I'm two weeks post up, but. What day are we on? 14, 15, 16, 17. Day 17. <laughs> it's day 17. Okay, what up? What, 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 what are we doing? Listen, when I shower now, I take the longest time before and after because I'm simply admiring my body. I've never seen my body this way. So I'm just admiring myself without clothes on. It's, it's just a fantastic feeling i cannot explain it i need to clean up under my bed what is all this garbage this is just atrocious this is a problem for me okay i'm seeing it in the mirror and let's see okay let me show you me i'm gonna actually do a i'm actually filming today for the first time i have a towel warmer by the way i'll link it amazon and stuff from versace that i have not even opened up because anyway this is even just me in a robe Am I far? Am I close enough? Even just me in a robe, I just look different. I've lost weight because I, I can't eat the way I used to, okay? The salt and keto, like, come on, I'm hungry, okay? That goes without saying. And yeah, so one thing about this smaller garment that's irritating, it literally is so small. <laughs> the shorts part of it is so small that it be choking. This is so bad. It's gonna sound so terrible, but it's uncomfortable and it has that opening to use the restroom. So it be choking my whole vulva situation. Like it's not, don't recommend, don't recommend. It's a smaller size. I needed a smaller size. This is an XL. I needed it. My body is just disproportionate. It's always been that way. I took the double XL to get taken in at the tailor on the waist. I told him to leave the hips and then I'll take this XL to be taken in as well because this XL is actually big. You might be thinking, oh, it looked great. Yeah, but it's supposed to be tighter and it's not that tight. It's tight, but it's not that tight. So it needs to be taken in. Even just looking in the mirror, I've lost weight. I've lo I was losing weight already this year because of diet and exercise. And then I've lost weight just the past month because my eating is different. Like all the restrictions is different. Like, hello? <laughs> so the weight loss is inevitable and I am not mad at it because I want to lose weight anyway. My goal is still to tone and just continue to be just the fittest, greatest I've ever been in my whole entire life. So I just be sitting here looking at myself. Listen, listen, I love me, okay? Praise the Lord. 
a lot of people that hate themselves and I, my heart goes out to them. I love myself, okay? I loved me before and I love me even more because not me rhyming, but when I look in the mirror, I love what I see and I feel so happy. I don't regret any dime of what I paid, a lot of money or not. I don't regret any dime because I feel, these pimples, Jesus lamb, I gotta, I gotta get some Polish Choice BHA, something, something going on, hang on. Mind you, I already did my skincare this morning, but I'm gonna just go right over it with Polish Choice. BHA solution because this stuff works well. It doesn't sting, nothing like that. I don't even feel it. And you know, if you grew up in the Noxema era, you enjoy that tingle because it makes you think that it's working. <laughs> and uh, this is not going to give you any kind of tingle. Uh, for me, I don't experience that when I apply it. But does it work? Oh, yes. I really am supposed to be doing this every day, but. I be forgetting yo. Uh, there's so many things I need to be doing every day. Like what? But yeah, my chin is where I normally break out. Ooh, my paper from my head wrap be left over in some places sometimes. Is that it? Oh no, it's not it. I washed my hands today for the first time in two weeks. You have to know how good that felt. It felt so good, my scalp felt a little bit irritated. What I mean is after I had washed my hair and I was here putting on my gel to lay this down, the gel felt uncomfortable on my scalp. It, it, was, it wasn't itchy. It wasn't burning. Maybe it was a tingling. I don't know. It, it was touching my scalp in a way that felt like it was getting like close to my skin. It just, it was clear that my scalp was covered with buildup and it just felt different, okay? It just felt different. It felt good. And I don't have any irritation right now. I just, I felt it when I was applying my gel in a way that I don't normally. So I'm like, yeah, I don't I don't normally not wash my hair for two weeks. So God, it felt good to just wash my hair. What? Oh, Lord have mercy. And my curls came back. My hair is wavy and you know, here it is. What is up here? Oh, product. Yeah, it's, it's bumpy. This part is broken. So it doesn't lay as well as it could and should. So I do need to tie my hair longer, but I don't have time. So it's almost giving intentional, but not really. <laughs> Let me tie my hair up some more while I figure out how I'm gonna go about my day. I am gonna film today for the first time in a long time. And uh, while I'm planning and setting everything up, I'm gonna look at my hair tie right now and just tie it so that it can help a little bit. It needs to be my cloth head tie, not the paper. This needs to push down, so I need pressure. But yeah, yo, I'm excited to put on makeup for the first time in a long time. Two more weeks of, of this whole get up. I'm, but then even after that, you gotta wear a bra. I got rid of all my wire bras, like I told you, so, you know, I'm gonna be doing the, the bralettes, you feel me? I purchased some and I'm excited to wear them because I never used to be able to do that, but I'm just doing all the things that I couldn't do before. Cheers. Yo, so I just finished filming this video and I have a headache. I'm reminded that not only do videos, just content in general requires energy, the talking, keeping my energy up requires energy. And it being two weeks from me filming, maybe that was what it was. I, that just gave me such a headache. <laughs> that just gave me such a stinking headache, yo. Ah, Nini has a soccer game and I can't lie. I, I want to go to sleep. This reminds me of when I first served at church on the worship team. We had, what, three services? I can't remember four, I don't know. And we sang at the front and the end of the service. The level of fatigue that I felt when I came home, mm -mm. I thought something was wrong. I mean, I came home around two and I slept the entire night, the evening, afternoon, and night, the whole thing. I was so, I felt like I was sick. I mean, I, ah. The level of exhaustion, I've never felt that in my life. And now I don't feel the same right now. It wasn't like that because there's so much energy that gets put out. I don't feel that right now, but I definitely feel tired. I'm reminded like, wow. I mean, I haven't done this in two weeks. I am, that just exhausted me. That wore me out. <laughs> and this is what I mean when I say that I'm an introvert. I don't get energized from lots of conversation and energy and go, go, move, move. Yes, yes, he, he. That doesn't energize me. It, drained me today drained me that drained me and i had planned on filming another video afterward i just can't i need to have a migraine because it's centered right in this area i just took a tylenol and i'll I, I will never miss my baby's soccer game as long as i'm in town i should make that tylenol too shouldn't i because the migraines take longer to go away anyway this is this lip in case you're wondering is give beauty 
What is it called? Stand up? Hands up? My first time using it. I don't know. I gotta look at it and I'll link it below. Wow. I, I'm tired, yo. <laughs> oh, you know, I've had this since before the surgery. The box came in, I feel like, the day of or the day after the surgery, honey. I was so uninterested in everything. I never opened it and I wanted to give an honest, true reaction on camera. So eventually I opened the box, but then I never smelled it. Cause again, I wanted to give my honest, true reaction on camera. And this is in support of Fumi Monet. I met her in Dallas at an event last year and she came up with a fragrance line called Exalté. Is it a line? It's, a, it's one product. So I don't know if you consider that a line or not. I'm not sure. And this is the packaging or the, you know, that goes on the outside of it. This is a travel one fluid ounce parfum. It's called Exalté. I love how smooth and quality the box is. I thought it was gorgeous from the beginning. I've never, have I smelled this? I smelled it, okay, I smelled it at another event. So I met her twice in Dallas. The second event I met her at, I she brought it to dinner and I smelled it and I, I don't remember anything about it. I don't remember how it smelled at all. So again, I wanted to just like get a refresher. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful glass. Well done. I know she made this in Paris. So, oh, this is just delicious, wow. And this is a chunky travel size because usually the travel fragrances are half this size, baby. Okay. All right. So I need a fragrance for today before I leave home. So I want to wear this because I hear so many good things about it. Wait. Oh, on my hands, I used Sal Gennaro Beja Flor hand lotion. So when I went like this, I'm telling my hand lotion. Okay. I got to spray it. Let's spray the box. Let's spray the box. Because I'm telling my hands. I know it's a. Is that a warm scent? I don't know. I gotta... Oh, yes. I love this. Yeah. It ha Does it have amber and saffron in this? Something in this smells like <laughs> 540. Something in this smells like 540. What? Yeah, it's, it smells like excellence. It smells like opulence. It smells like amazingness. It smells expensive. Okay, the dry down. Am I getting a woody scent? A woody note? Hmm. Yo, this smells like 540, but a, 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 there's, a, there's a twist to it. There's a twist to it. Huh. I like it a lot. I just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, I'm learning. I've learned a lot about fragrances over the past year and a half, two years or three years. Yeah, three years. I'm picking up on some very familiar notes. There's a dry down scent that I'm, a note that I'm picking up that I cannot put my finger on. Mmm. Mmm. It smells like royalty. Yes. I don't mind smelling like royalty in the morning of the daytime. It's two o'clock. Yes. Exalté. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, Monet. I love this. Ooh. Ooh. I, I've already, so I don't wash this jacket often. I don't think you wash your jackets often. I mean, come on now, right? So this already has some other fragrances on it. I don't care. Oh, it's for my legs. You know I'll be doing that. It ain't gonna last me enough. I know this sold out her first run, right? Didn't it sell out on her first launch? I don't, I don't remember. Ooh, Exalté. Mmm, okay, baby. And then I'm gonna slip it in this beautiful purse pouch thing, travel pouch, yes. Keep it nice and secure, baby, baby. This is so cute. Okay, Fumi, you need to come out to YouTube. Well, come back to YouTube. I heard her saying that she was gonna come back to YouTube. This is so adorable. You can tell it's made with quality. It's made with love. It wasn't, you can tell this wasn't just like thrown together, you know? It was, there, there was quality, there was thought, there was, there was something put into this. Yeah, made in France, I love that. I can't even finish talking. The migraine now is on the side of my head. Wow. I took one Tylenol. I'm going to increase that. I'm making it two. The one is not enough. No. Wow. The one ain't enough. And I got to tell you, this diet, it's not a no salt diet because who heard moi? There's sodium in everything. Literally, I looked at my egg whites and there's sodium in there. I was like, what? Yo, this ginger ale zero sugar has sodium in it. I was shocked. I'm like, there's sodium in everything, honey. So it is a low sodium diet, a low sodium, no seasoning diet. That's what she said. So I don't do seasoning and I'm doing low sodium because I'm looking at everything and I'm like, everything got sodium in it. I know I'm hungry. That's, that's number one. So that might be contributing to the, the migraine, honey. But I know that it was, it was the overexertion of energy in the video. I know that for a fact because 
it, it just it, it drained me <laughs> it drained me i need to i need to i was filming a video and i realized that i need to exfoliate my skin so i need to do that tonight and i need to go and get some wide leg sweatpants because the ones that i normally wear from amazon are a little bit fitted on my thighs and the indent from the garment bothers me when it shows so it shows and i have two more weeks to wear this and if i want to wear sweatpants and a top like i want to have more options than just putting on a dress so i need more sweatpants and i met i said i was gonna buy it on hold on a second i did say i was gonna buy it on target look at this pr package that i just got in from rare beauty this is i opened it and i was let me get my camera and show y'all because it's so cute i only got this far and look at that and it's earrings with my initials that is so stinking adorable wow and i didn't open the rest so i don't know what else is here Let, let's see oh my I got my nails i need to go take these nails off because i have so much to edit oh, how do i open that wow beautiful brown skin yes ma'am selena looks gorgeous too oh my god Wait, this is this is good quality too honey all right and, you know, I tried out this concealer so long ago. I don't recall what I felt about it at all. But you know that I do love the highlighter. So we have, okay, Silky Touch highlighter that melts into the skin for effortless iridescent glow. So we got four of these, the brush, the under eye brightener, and a matte lip cream. Okay, oh, I guess there's nothing in here. This is just padding. Okay, got it. Okay, so this is what it is. How beautiful is she? What? Gorge. Hi. Okay, let me open these up. You know, I don't do how, uh, pressed highlighters anymore, so uh, I'm always giving it away. I'm really into cream and, you know, yeah, liquid, honestly. Let's take a look at this matte lip cream first. Ooh, it's giving nude. Okay, love, wow. I know people talk about her matte lip creams. I haven't ever used it before or have i it's just been a long time it's giving very invisible it's a little soft soft paint i wonder if it's full coverage we use these rare beauty lip souffle creams please let me know because i'm going to try this one out because i wonder how full coverage it is you know me i like it to it needs to cover my whole lip right either we're here or not it's pretty we're, it's just plain and simple for me you tell me Positive Light Under Eye Brightener. This is the shade Medium Deep. So it's a concealer, right? Oh, okay, it's a concealer. Ooh, maybe I will try this out. What? This looks actually really, really freaking pretty. What? So this is Exhilarate, okay. That's gonna go on a giveaway, which I still do randomly. So just continue to engage as you, as you, continue as you are, you know? Continue as you are. Good morning. So much to share. Like for instance, my, oh Jesus, my breast and my nipples being so tender and just like the throbbing that happens as perhaps everything is reconnecting. I don't know how else to say it. All of the nerve endings are reconnecting. I don't know. That's been quite disruptive and just a whole thing to deal with. But I, I'm gonna, I, I've been, I was chatting with my girlfriend on uh, Marco Polo and something came out of me that I know was from God. So I downloaded that specific video. I'm gonna play it for you because I wanna encourage you. So I'll play that for you afterward, but I'm about to jump on a call right now. And I got up this morning at 5 a.m. I wanted to do four, but I was so sleepy. I got this morning at 5 a.m. And I washed my hair, I showered, washed my hair. Oh, it just feels so good to shower like every day because before I couldn't. And, and I showered, washed my hair, put it up in a bun because when it's in the low bun in the back, it's annoying when I'm driving because I can't put my head back. It's annoying. So I put it in a high bun and I'm about to have a meeting right now. I have to edit something that's due today. I wanted to edit it over the weekend, but I was either busy or just tired. <laughs> so yes, yes, yes. I need to go to the tailor and get my other garment because he still has it. I thought that they were going to open on Saturday. They weren't. And then this one needs to be taken in because it is spacious. It really is. My inches are going down. You log in. Oh my God. My inches are going down. And I need light. But when I 
when I, oh my God, my background is a mess. Why is my background such a mess? It's not a mess, it's just clutter. I hate how that looks in the video. Oh, it's so, let me see, because when the sunlight is on 100,000, it be looking real ridiculous. Okay, because the sun be in my face, see? I'm about to close it. Because this is, this is the problem with having my office here in the front based on how the sun is, get centered. Okay, whatever. My background is cluttered. Oh, let me get my notes, girl. I gotta open up my notes to take notes about this meeting that I'm doing right now. Like, hello. And I have on these long nails. I hate that and I'm trying to... Hi, good morning. Oh my God, that meeting went so well. My armpits were sweating. My tailor just texted me, not just, texted me an hour ago. My armpits are sweating from adrenaline. Oh my God, so many things going on and I just pray for God's favor and his grace. A Cartier essay just text, not just, I'm looking at now, text me to check in on my purchase and to see if I need anything. And I'm like, I was trying to close this class the other day when I got it actually open up, when I open up boxes, I'd be like, Ugh. so anyway, as I was closing the clasp, I scratched it <laughs> and I can see the scratch, but I did overhear someone while I was in the store talk about a uh, scuffed up piece of jewelry just means it's been well loved, you know? So <laughs> this has already been well loved. It's not even a month yet. I'm so annoyed, you know, cause it's, you know, it, you type in and all that stuff. So whatever, I just praise God that it's durable. So yeah, I love my, I love my two bracelets. Have I shown you? I know that I'm going to be doing a separate video to talk all about it. Oh yeah, honey, years ago when I was making these videos and editing and, and editing them at work and getting up early and all this, I had no assurances. I didn't know that people were making this kind of money. I had no idea what was going on. Okay. There is no assurance. <laughs> you just keep on moving. I'm a driven person. I don't need anybody to really tell me much. I'm, I'm just a driven person, you feel me? It just is what it is. I just knew that there would be a way for me to make a living out of what I do. I never imagined that the living would be this kind of living, but I trusted that there would be a way for me to make a living where I didn't have to take Nini from home 6.30 a.m. to drive to work, to rush, to be late, to be spoken to about how I'm being late and to be worrying about these office politics and, and driving in traffic falling asleep dang on there getting into a car accident being so exhausted and all this stuff i just knew that there was a way that i could make a living doing what i loved to do and not have to go to my job i had no idea how that would happen not one inkling period end of story it just happened it just happened so it's just one foot in front of the other girl there's one foot in front of the other. No, I'm not going to lie about it. It's one foot in front of the other. Three, four years ago, you couldn't tell me this. I didn't know what was going on. People didn't talk about how much money they made. People didn't talk about how to make money. I didn't know what was going on. But I just knew that something had to give. You feel me? And that I wasn't going to stop. Because I knew I was good at it. And I knew that they, there's, there's, there's got to be a way. Like, Listen, it's the desperation and the hunger for me. You see, when I'm desperate and hungry for something, I don't need anyone to walk and hold my hand, okay? I was desperate and hungry to lose weight because I was unhappy, okay? So I did what I did not want to do, which was keto, because I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna eat? Desperation and hunger, feeling like there's no other option, is a driving force in and of itself. You feel what I'm saying? If you are desperate and hungry for something, even if you mess up, you're gonna go back to it because why? You are desperate and hungry for that thing. I don't need nobody to come and tell me nothing. I am desperate and hungry for this thing that I know is possible for me, that I see other people doing well at, that I know I can do well at because I am just as talented, if not more. And I'm just looking at it like, bet, 
I see you doing it. I'm coming right behind you and I'm going to surpass you. And it's nothing personal. It's just a challenge to myself because I know that I can do whatever I put my mind to do. End of story, end of situation like this. It's just game over, mic drop. You feel me? And that is what has driven me. And that is what will always drive me. I put my blinders on. I do my research. I see what's I want. And I'm like, okay, boop. Yep. All right. I see this going on. Like, I did not know it was possible to make a half million dollars in this business. I would, I would guess that folks is killing it out here, making millions, out, millions of dollars a year. But then when you hear someone share it, you're like, oh, okay. Okay, so she letting us know. Praise be. Because when you tell me, then I know that it's possible. And when I know that it's possible, then I put my boots down and I put my stake in the ground and I'm going after this. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going after this. You feel me? I'm going to have a beach home. I'm going to fly first class. I'm going to travel once a month. We're going to do vacations quarterly, family vacations quarterly. You know, I'm going to take care of my family. I'm going to have whatever vehicle and buy whatever I want to buy. Uh, you know, Nini will have all that he needs and more. We will be successful and we, girl, no, I'm, I'm not about to cry. Mm -mm. You feel what I'm saying? I will have all these things that I see all these people having because I will work for it. Nobody needs to come and tap my shoulder and say, wake up, wake up, let's do this. I am going to get up and do this. I'm going to get up and do this. No one in my family is doing what I'm doing and they are so shocked. They're like, what is it that you do and how do you make this money? And I'm just like, listen, the Lord is working, okay? I put one foot in front of the other. I'm here editing these videos. You feel what I'm saying? You know, this video about to yield me. You know, I don't pay too much attention. I just keep my feet down. I keep my head down. I keep on going. You feel me? I am going to do what it takes to take care of my family. When my family needs something, they know. Just call me, text me. You don't even need to say too many words. Just holler at me. What do you need? What is the Zell? I'm sending it now. End of story. I'll pay you back. No, don't pay me back. You pay me back, I'm, I'm offended. You know I'm offended? Because it helps me. It makes me feel good to help you. Because I know, I remember the day that we were living in a shelter. I remember the days when we didn't have much. I remember going to the building at, at the holidays, you know, <laughs> There has to be a reason why you do what you do that no one can take from you. And I will never go back to a shelter. I will never have to go or take me need to a place to get Christmas gifts. Never. And that's not knocking free gifts. Because we needed those gifts. You feel what I'm saying? But what it is is saying that I'm going to bust my ass. And nobody has to tell me to get up. That's what pushes me. You feel me? Nobody has to tell me to get up. Nobody has to tell me to pivot. Nobody has to tell me to learn more. Nobody has to tell me to grind. No one has to say, don't settle. No one has to say, reach higher. No one has to say nothing to me. Nobody has to talk to me. You ain't got to say nothing to me. You feel me? Because I know what it could be. And I know what I refuse to take. And I know what it has been. And I know, what I, and I know where I want to go. And this conversation has taken me in a direction I wasn't expecting. But... Once you figure out what it is that is pushing you, no one got to talk to you. No one got to talk to you. No one needs to speak to you. Because you're going to grind come hella high water. You're going to grind with electricity, no electricity. You're going to grind at 3 in the morning, 2 in the morning, 2 in the afternoon. You're going to grind regardless. You're going to grind regardless. I ain't got to say nothing to you. No one got to say nothing to you. You're going to grind regardless because you know why you are doing this. So once you figure out why and what it costs, it's a wrap. And, you know, not me, pre girl. That's it. That's it. My Walmart groceries just came in. And I, <laughs> I feel like I'm always buying something. That's just crazy. Okay. Well, I was stocking up on stuff. And then... 
I got some goodies for my sister and my niece, who is my assistant, because they're coming in soon. They're coming in this weekend, and I asked them what they wanted because, you know, I'm a host, all right? And I got to make sure my people got what they need. Oh, when they have substitutions, because this is not what I wanted, but that's okay. This is not what I wanted. And by the time I looked at the substitutions, it was like, oh, what is this? Oh, oh my God. I, I, mean, I, I, I can probably find a use for this, but I was getting small plastic cups and I got substituted with these little cups with lids. This is what you would use for freaking salad dressing or something. I mean, what would I ever use this for? Oh my God, that is not what I wanted. See, I be doing too much at Walmart, like, dang it. I stocked up on some steak. I mean, I know that we're not gonna be uh, up in the house, chefing it up, you feel me? And I can barely eat anyway. But I'm using my deep freezer a lot more because I don't use it nearly enough. So I'm gonna just go in the freezer, you feel me? And it's gonna be there since you want a great. I got her grapes. I got seedless. I didn't even ask her what color grapes, green or red or I don't know. But I got purple, whatever you call them. You call these red? Yeah, red. Red seedless, boom. I got more avocado. In fact, I have one avocado right now that is ripe and ready for me to chew on because I'm looking forward to the fat filling me up because I'm starving. I've been losing so much weight, it's insane. I don't weigh myself, but I can tell. I. I've lost weight just in general, but I've lost weight, man. I'm hungry. I'm not eating like I used, like I used to. So this, this surgery definitely forces you into another level of of dieting. So cheesy, okay? Whew. I love it though. I love the way I look and feel. You feel me? I love the way I look and feel. I'm just <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Whew. I'm still going through keto because I still believe in not being gluttonous and being healthy and being healthy so i'm still gonna do keto even when i get back to being able to eat what i feel like eating nini loves these freeze-dried fruit fuji apple fruit crisps and i know they must be good fuji apples are really sweet so i know these things are good he's been so happy that i stocked up on these my closet my pantry is not it ain't pathetic it ain't cute it ain't nice <laughs> we got a lot of stuff up here Honey, it's a lot of stuff up in here, okay? It ain't... Uh, uh, like, I want it to be a cute situation, you feel me? But... Uh, I don't... I don't have... I don't feel like setting aside time to set up a pantry, you feel me? Like, I just... My mind is not there, you know? Not there. Hi. All right. Niffin wanted the cheese it extra toasty. So I got her the cheese it extra toasty. That's what she said she wanted. Throw this in this very normal looking pantry. I'm not going to diss it because it's very normal. This is how normal, normal people's pantries look, okay? This is very normal. <laughs> it's very unusual. The aesthetic -y pantries, those are very unusual. She wanted ginger beer. I've never had ginger beer. Have you ever had ginger beer? I've never had that. Isn't that good? Ooh, it sounds so bitter. It sounds bitter, bitter, bitter. Run across my burden while he's bearing He then proclaims My God, how great is all this Who then sings my song I'll say it again to thee How great thou Joy shall fill my heart, and I shall bow with humble adoration 
If it sound perfect, that don't matter. It's the heart behind the worship. You feel me? One thing I'm going to do is worship the Lord Jesus Christ every second that I get. I'll be working and then taking a second to go get my mail because I'm doing this with one hand. My MFK body oil came in. Woo -woo. Pull over. Oh. Maison Francisque Jean Paris. Yo, you can't even get this out of the box. What? What a bum 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 Ooh, I got some samples. I want to get a la rose. I do want to purchase this fragrance. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And another one, bergamot. Come, 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 bergamot. Come, bergamot. Oh, I got three different ones. Okay. I love a good sample. Ooh. And this is the guest of honor on the side. Hi, how are you? Gorgeous. This is the one and only size that they carry, and it just looks phenomenal. Let's open it. All right. Here we are, I'm getting my lymphatic massage. I'm now going three times a week. Looking forward to it. These dietary restrictions are trying to kill me. 
Hi. Hi. Ooh, <laughs> Thank you. Now I'm walking in eight minutes late talking about hi. It's beautiful because my makeup. So I don't come here with makeup on because I haven't been wearing it. I actually never wore it all two weeks that I was coming here. So she's like, oh, it's beautiful, but Sandra, you're late. How about that? One time I was late because I I had I thought I thought that my appointment was at two, nine fifteen, but it was at nine, and so I was in my car, and she came to my window and was like, "Hi, it's okay, the time, it's okay," and I was like, "Oh yeah, I can go now." I thought she wanted me to go early, and she's like, "It's nine oh nine, then uh, well, it's nine fifteen, you know, it's late," and I was like, "Wait, wait, I had the wrong time, and I felt so bad." So not her walking in late and and acknowledging her makeup, ma'am. You're late, what's happening? It's 2.09. But she's sweet. She must not have anyone after me. So maybe she's still gonna give you the whole 50 minutes. She better. She does a great job. And I feel like we've gotten close over the past 20 or so days. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 days, or whatever it's been. I always ask her to get the heater because, listen, it's cold. Okay. And me, more work is on the side. Yeah, the side, yeah. Okay, you send me it. So it feels just like a blood pressure monitor in the doctor's office. It just gets tight, goes loose. Look at this humongous pimple and then this dead skin under my chin. And then another humongous pimple here. I definitely need to exfoliate. And it's time to do my nighttime routine. <clears throat> I'm so tired. I went through yet another smart, smart mouth mouth wash because this is just that good. I've also finished Youth to the People Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Super Food Cleanser. Gentle, nice. I did not like this J-Lo. I mean, I only used it one time. I did not like this J-Lo Body Firm and Flaunt Target Body Booty Balm. Hate it. Hate it because it has some sort of pink, purple, fluorescent, like shimmer there's some kind of shimmer in this that might look pretty in the sun but it was pilling on my body and i didn't have anything on underneath it and it was like i would go like this over it like what i didn't realize i had a shimmer to it so then i would wipe my body like what it was crumbling so it was pilling so i do not like this i only used it one time and then I also finished, and I also, but I finished this first A Beauty Facial Radiance Pad, these first A Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. Those are really good for acne. AHAs in them, gentle, never had any irritation with them whatsoever. And I'm getting ready now, but I think I already flossed in the other bathroom. I'm so tired. I got to five, long, long day with the meeting and everything. It's just like a lot. I'm just so Next week I'll be four weeks postpartum. Hey, postpartum. Post op, so it's time for the gym. Wow. <laughs> Can you believe it? Ah, four weeks already? That is wild. Wild. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh. Anyway, you're feeling good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God. I know. Can we just talk briefly about how the body is body in? I took off the straps because I'm about to change and film and whatever, but I just finished filming a video and I threw on the wig. I have yet to comb out the curls, so I'm actually just doing it right now. I curled this hair days ago. You saw that, right? And now I'm just putting my fingers through it. And that's it. You feel me? That is it. But do you see this? Do you see this? I went and got some stuff tailored the other day. Oh my God. <laughs> Everything gonna have to be tailored. And I knew that, but like, you know, 
I'm just saying, it's already starting. I'm gonna do a video on things that I wish I knew before the surgery. Not that it's a regret, but just simply things that I wish I knew, <laughs> that I figured out. I've lost weight, like you already saw, we already discussed this days ago. I love it. I've always wanted, I'm always on the weight loss journey because I want to be healthy. I want to be in the best, what is this? Oh, from when it was sewn, yeah, 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 because this one was the one that was sewn, so this is the, the new, whatever. Yeah, so I always want to be in my best shape possible. I cannot wait to get back to the gym starting next week. This is, today is Mark, today is the three week mark, and then next week, Wednesday, will be a four week mark, and then Thursday, I'm going to be in that gym, honey. I'm going to be in that gym, weight training, Sydney Cummins, here I come, arms, chest, back, butt, thighs, calves, just the whole nine yards. And she always adds in abs, ab work. So, you know, the abs get worked out with certain exercises anyway. They just get worked out anyway, so it just works. But I'm be doing all that, I can't wait. And the less, the least amount of body fat, the easier, the faster it is for my muscles to show because they don't have to fight through so much body fat, hello. So I just cannot wait. Ugh. I have never been so excited to get to the gym and this will all this will go down like this has gone down considerably because this was part of the surgery but you know I'm still inflamed my hips my uh, my love handles not the whole thing just the sides this is still swollen that that's not supposed to be like that like it's supposed to be down more but it's still swollen right here you know not the back that is very flat the mons are going down too with this right here I cannot wait to get it down because it's giving very it's giving BBL you might think that this looks great I don't, I don't have an issue with it but it's giving BBL I just need this to go down and we I noticed I'm gonna ask us today the masseuse doesn't touch right here because first of all the incision goes up to here and then secondly I had the drains here and here so we were really avoiding the hips she does massage down to the top of the butt and then she does massage to the right to where my incision is but we were avoiding the hips so I'm gonna ask her today like can we start doing adding in the hips please because not the hips just right here the love handles can we start adding this in because I need this to go down but then again this sore this part this I call it a bullet hole this bullet hole where the light bulb was you know this light bulb hole is still a little bit sore so it's not 100% healed, but the one that was right here, because I had drains here and here, the one that was right here is fine. Granted, I'm still numb from here to here, so that might be part of it. <laughs> I, I don't feel it if it is sore, but obviously I feel the one back here. This is not numb. I, like, I, I can feel it. <laughs> when it gets rubbed on, I'm like, ugh. But yeah, yo. Anyway, okay, I'm about to film. I gotta go. Bye! Film, film differently. I'm filming here on the vlog, but I'm about to film like a video for YouTube. Bye-bye! Yo, I was just thinking about how much my masseuse is going to gag. Sandra, she's gonna be like, Did you? Did you? You did it? I'm like, yes, Sandra, me did it. Like, yo. <clears throat> they want to post up, man. My beautiful friend, yeah, not me. It was not hitting the way it needed to hit. Them silly twists. Yesterday, I know Sandra was beside herself. She was like, you did it? You did it? Yes, me did it. Sandra, I did it. I told, told you I do skin. I, well, I, okay, so I, I mentioned skincare. I didn't mention makeup. So she was shocked yesterday. She asked me twice. <laughs> you did it? I'm like, yes, me did it. And then... I know to, so cause, cause now I'm back, like now I'm back to work. So when I go, I already have my makeup on. And today the wig is on too. Sandra gonna be like, do they need the peluca? Yeah, the peluca did it, did it. Me, I did it. You feel me? I gotta learn my Spanish, yo. I've used my Google Translate app, praise God. Shout out to the, the Translate app because a lot of times we can't even communicate very well. It'd be quiet up in there, you feel me? And uh, whenever we gotta ha have a long conversation, we, we both, she, she pulls out her app, I pull out my app when we be apping. You feel me? It'd be like a cross translation. That's how we doing it. You feel me? It's just the funniest thing. She's just so sweet. I feel like she's like an auntie to me now. It's just, it's, it's, it's wild. You really do get to know, uh, I, I mean, I don't know about anybody else, but I really feel connected to her because she has brought me, like you brought me through, you feel me? She saw me day two, you feel me? Like 
silly twist. You know what I'm saying? The whole nine yards, and now it's been three weeks. You said anyway. I know she's gonna be like, what? "Is that is that the same? Is that the same person who been here for three weeks?" Yes, it's me. Before I was almost dead. Now I'm alive. It's a different situation. Now I'm alive. I'm alive and well. Now I can wind your ways. Wind your way. Wind your way. Hey, yay, yay. Yo, I'm just laughing because I already know. Like, to me, this transformation is nothing. I'm used to it. But I'm always reminded. Like, even when I go to soccer practice, I go certain places, I just, I have to remember that this is not normal. <laughs> it's not normal to be like this on a Wednesday afternoon. I still have this down. It's not normal, right? It's normal to me to one day go to practice and be looking like God knows what, casual, whatever, sweat, whatever the case is, no makeup, hat on, whatever. You know, two braids tucked under the hat. And then for the next day, I was filming, so I'm done, hair curled, waves, bouncing, 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 bouncing. This is normal to me. So I have to remember that for other parents or other people with whom I come in contact, it's a shock. Huh? Oh, that's the speaker. You know, it's, it's just interesting. Cause to me, I'm like, I have a makeup. Like I don't think anything about it. But to them, it's like, hey, in three weeks, I've never seen her makeup. Who is this? Is this your normal, is this your baseline? Like, is this how you normally look? Cause, Cause we thought that what we were seeing, we thought that that was your baseline. And it's like, no ma'am, mm -mm. you had it all wrong. You feel me? You had it all wrong. Okay, you had me messed up. You had me messed up, okay? I was supposed to out. <laughs> now, now we out. You feel me? We out. <laughs> Annoyed. Let me go film. I'm annoyed. I was actually uh taking pictures for my thumbnail and I'm just admiring myself. I don't care. I don't care. Call what you want. I'm admiring my new curves, okay? They've always been like this. They've just now been more refined. On the world, one world, what in the world? Goodbye. Okay, I'm literally rushing out for my massage appointment. Oh, that trying home. <laughs> When you see the video, let me know, because you know what it was, okay? Ideally, I would not have done a try and haul. Oh, I almost forgot my phone. On the same, I'm so thirsty. I'm just, listen, I'm in work mode, so I'm not even paying attention to the fact that I'm thirsty and all that. And I'm doing three times a week. I used to go in the morning when I was doing each week massages. And anyway, based on availability, I'm going now and honestly the morning is better to just get it out of the way like 9 a.m. But she didn't I'm actually I need to I need to book next week's massages But I was out here working and obviously having to stop mid whew, Mid work, you know mid video, you know, just mid work session to go do my massage is inconvenient But my massages are important to me. My investment is important to me. So I gotta do whew, what I gotta do Goal today is to film what I have three videos. Oh, well, I've done two already. My goal today is to film four. I have two more that I wanted to film, right? Well, no, because I did the try and haul just now, but you know, I'm going to be doing a side by side. Well, not side by side, but you know, picture in frame, picture in pictures, it's called. So I'm going to need to film the talking bird, talking portion to. Oh, my hella fresh is at the door. Come back and film the, film the talking portion to go with the try and haul that I just did. And then I need to, there are two more videos that I want to film. I have something that's due today. It's a real, I can do it. It's just, oh, I was supposed to get up and do this morning, but I was so stinking tired, yo. I was so stinking tired. So I filmed a video of this makeup tutorial. I'm doing a wear test. But I think it's, uh, Okay, I made it. And I just posted for today. And now it's time to get down. Literally just threw on whatever to come. <laughs> These sweater thingies are coming in handy so much. They're just easy. I don't think about it. I just put it on. I just put it on and I go. I go. Hi. Morning. <laughs> I just need water. I'm so thirsty. Right. Thanks. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. Thank you. Drinks the first okay. machine after massage. After, okay, all right, perfect. Thank you, thank you. I was working, I was filming some yeah, videos. It's different. I know, it's different, huh? <laughs> now I feel better. Uh -huh. <laughs> I told you. 
She's so funny. I knew she would do that. They'd be looking at me like, wow, you look so different. <laughs>